Hi there and welcome back my friends to the kingdom of Nordoriki and there's something else on the agenda. King Toki the Blushing wants some land for himself and then for his children to distribute because he has a different heir, Rodolf of Satakunta, chief of Satakunta. He wants to give his children something before he dies. So um, the idea is that he goes in gameplay terms to his full dimension size and after that he goes on raging around here and gives his children some places to rule. Just filled up a war chest and um, actually his retinues could become a lot bigger and actually he could create a house call retinue here a lot of money. Two of these be good. Where will we meet? We'll all meet here. We have Toki along here. That's nice. To collect our people. Practice range in Kimi. And we can invest a little bit, I think. Um, a ship builder would be good, of course, but a reinforced hill fort would help a lot, too. We can afford that, so let's go for that. Need to get in position. Oh, uh, oh, a war for Hafrid's claim the Icelandic revolt? Here. Yeah. Gandalf of the Icelandic Revolt. Ah, uh, I think we somehow know him. What is he up to? Carl, Beris Love of Rowanyemi, Thorbrand. Huh, we don't know. No, we probably don't know him. It's okay though. Our vassal is at it. Like coming to join us. Hey, the army of High Chieftess Jilla is here. Yeah, she's moving to Iceland now. There's an army as well. The army of Knut. To get together here, yes. And uh, Lapland, Kuloi, Kem. That should be enough, theoretically. I mean, on the other hand, here's 6,000 potential allied troops. Um, is this the right target? We're not sure. Oh, Ketil Rodulfersson. Our kinsman. Um, uh, we're gonna get asked about the kinsman. So much. 11, no. 3. Pride. Be a proud man. Um, we should, yeah, we should wait a bit because otherwise, oh, that's not the plan to to get out of here. Oh my goodness! Eric of Eric's host has gathered a band of warriors, the intention to raid foreign lands to create a fortune of his own. Well, good luck with that. Um, not really, because we must deal with him now. Um, they're plundering us. It's, what the? Oh, we need some levies. Kimi and Kim. need to join us as well and we need to drive these people out Helena oh Helena is coming of age 
could get rowdy, or she could be diplomatic. I mean, she's a woman, she should be diplomatic. On the other hand, we have a shield maiden as a concubine, so maybe just, just like that. She could become a shield maiden in time. Because we love a shield maiden, and that's maybe something that is inspiring us. Beyond the traditional Norse culture. Goodness. During the last few days, my son Gandalf has been clutching at his stomach and made frequent visits to the privy. Now being informed that he's suffering from dysentery. Oh no! <sighs> Call for my court physician at once. <gasps> Died attending to chamber business. Gandalf. Bodil, she's not pregnant. Our first son has died. He was such an exemplary diplomat. We'll never see what he could do. Next in line is Barry's love. Already content, but gregarious. We'll become a diplomat as well. Let's see. Ah. Uh, Barry's love. Look at that. This guy is brave already. That is probably something that is inspiring us a lot. Whom do we like better? Bo. We like Bo a lot because he's brave. Let's nominate Bo. Bo the Brave. Ragnar has inherited something. Okay. Well, they're in the Shattered Retreat. Okay, then this can be disbanded. We need to wait until we are less threatening. We could negotiate with Eirik. Why should we? But we can see what he has to say. He wants Finnmark. No. Warp camp has been built in Kuloi. Nice. Hmm... Him. A wooden hill fort, at least, should help a lot. That is like something like the minimum, right? What could be here? 5,000 prestige. Hey, it's possible to rank up. Wow, we can become a veteran. Let's try that. See, I'm pleased to report that your errant subject, Alec, has converted to the Germanic faith. Praise Frey. Okay. At least a bit. declared war over Laucas. What's going on there? Do, do, will we have a theocracy that is rebelling against... And what is that? The Icelandic revolt. But of our house, so... It's not that bad. Stuart Ruffin has spent many weeks spent over ancient tomes and scrolls in search of the more information regarding the rumored artifact. He claims to be on the right path, but apparently progress is slow. Ravn has asked me to order the best scholars in all the Ricky to uh, aid him in his of efforts. Ah, oh my god, the brightest minds shall be at your disposal. When we finally find that thing, it's going to be a useless stick. I think. Or maybe not, but... 
Honored warrior Toki, I hereby grant you permission to advance to the next rank within the wolf warriors. Signed, heroine, uh, how is she called? Heroine Thora, the great bear. We're a veteran now, what can we do? Inspire warriors, war sacrifice. Nice. Could we disband? No retinues will be disbanded. Very nice, okay. You can return to wherever you were. And uh, we'll just stay here in Lapland for now. Our warriors. The balance going up. Finally, as uh, the realm comes back into action. Stonehill Fort has been built. Nice. Yeah, we don't have that much income because that's too big. Our retinues are so big. Are so big. And this means we'll order it to go over here and then we'll try to pillage. Thorda has inherited the chiefdom of Gastric Land from Grimmer of Gastric Land. Okay, all right. A socializer and adventurer. Well, whatever. Saxony is truly powerful. Wow. Encountered fledgling Mathilde. Many times while carrying out my duties for the Wolf Warriors. It's always a pleasant occasion. We can talk for hours. The time allows because she never bores me. Our discussions are often lengthy. We always seem to agree on the matters which are most important. She's attractive and we are lustful. Are we lustful? We are lustful still. Ah. It might be more. Yeah, that's love by lust. For a moment the world stood still. I could not breathe. Then the most radiant, heartwarming smile spread across Mathilde's beautiful face. I thought you would never ask. Toki, oh my nice beauty. Chieftess Mathilde. Can't do anything. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what we do. Chief Karuchi, the tormentor, used a favor on High Chief Hazawa the Evil to force them to join all their factions. That's our vassal. All right. All right. Kazaria. My liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from uh, associating with conspirational factions. Will he join them? I mean, he's very powerful. We'll obligate him. Thank you for reminding me of my duties and obligations as your vassal. You're right, of course. For the foreseeable future, you have my promise not to support factions conspiring against you. To the vivacious King Toki. Staying idle is not in a warrior's blood. I hence invite you to aid me against my enemies. Adelbrand of Paris. Promise to put in a good word for you at the lodge based on your participation in the war. Hope we can have a fruitful exchange of knowledge during the war. Mm. I mean, we really like him. He is defending against a civilian holy war for Granada. What? And against the Umayyads. 
We don't even know where that is. It's just just too far away. Linda Tokus here, Dovre, nice. She's a little bit out, really, but that doesn't mean much, right? She could be perfect for learning. Let's see how that works out. Hmm. Might be time to plunder again soon. There's a little bit of Catholic going on here. A new discovery. New land has been sighted across the sea to the west of Iceland. While sailing to Reykjavik from Norway, Gunnbjörn Ulfsson and his crew were blown off course, came upon several skerries lying off the coast of a much larger island, possibly a new continent. While Gunnbjörn did not go ashore, the land seems to be unclaimed and unsettled. Sailors in Iceland have vowed to investigate this discovery further. What lies beyond, I wonder? Come on, the map should expand now. <laughs> oh, look. There's now a really big Catholic... Hmm. Where can we proselytize? Yeah, let's be here again. I know, I know, we're threatening. There's a Catholic realm here in, in Saxony. Hmm. Let's see about that, eh? Astrid needs something. Oh yeah, the slow one suffering from suffering from her mother's Drunkenness. Uh, and Gurli has great pox and is a leper. Astrid, you need to you need to be away from your mother, you know. You need to be diplomatic about it. I know you're slow, but that's your mother's fault here. Young Atpala has finished her education in the ways of war. Seems she's learned all the basic skills required. She's going to be a tough soldier. Very good. Hmm. Is that so good? Let's see. Ransom her. He's paying for that. Received news that my lover Mathilde is with child. Hopefully she'll be able to persuade her husband to be the real father. We can only hope. Ooh. Well, she is a great pox as well. Just great. We need to break up with her. I mean, we know the symptoms from our concubine. No one... No one shall know. We shall not be seen with, with her. I mean, we're happy for the child, but to be there, but High Chiefess Hafrid of Ireland has his land has usurped the title chieftain of Nordland from High Chiefess Gilla the Weiner. Uh, Hufrid, our vassal. She is in the bloodline of Bragi. Characters tend to keep hunting dogs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Good 
could arrange a marriage of her. Oh, she isn't. She doesn't have a range of throttle, of course. Of her with our son Barry's love. No, matrilineal, lineal. That would be yes. Okay, okay. And Bo? No. Arnbjorn? No. Only matrilineally. Hmm. Hard. Negotiate with Eric. No, no, no. He won't get an old land, Eric. Defense effect opposing Thorda Ulfing has been disbanded. The King of Saxony? My goodness. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Marshall tells me that one of my commanders, Thorstein, has improved significantly. Very nice Thorstein Freyerson. And we have Andvari's gift. Still dressed in traveler's garb, Ruffin enters your throne room and kneels before you. Looking rather pale and a bit sickly, he produces a small object, placing it gingerly in the palm of your outstretched hand. Andvari's gift. The Andvaran out, my liege. Raffin whispers reverently, it must be. Its power is undeniable. It has already brought me many riches on the road back to the court. You not solemnly in response. Though it feels light in your hand, you already feel the burden on your soul. This ring must have enormous power. But you remember hearing in legends the curse that lies upon it. Regardless, with this find, Raffin has so truly surpassed himself. Hmm... And Ruffin, our steward and herdman, I'll ensure he swims in money. The Andvarenort. It's a curse there, too. Now, that, that has us thinking, right? This beautiful golden ring seems to make wealth flood to its owner, but though all know Andvari's curse draws ever closer. My goodness. A quality 5 artifact. Tax modifier plus 20%, monthly prestige plus 0 0.5, stewardship plus 4, health though minus 1, and same religious opinion plus 5. A very risky move. The Andvarenort. Crazy. Really crazy. We don't know what to do about this. Four stewardship. 20% tax modifier. Wow. It's really crazy. Well, we'll see what we do about this Andvarenort. Shall we give it to our son or something? Don't know. Have a great time. Until next time. And happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out. Quality 5.